My second coming, cannot be prevented, nor can it be stopped. Wednesday, March 7, 2012 at 8.30 p.m. My dearly beloved daughter, I will protect you with the special graces needed, to give you the strength to deal with the forces of evil, which are underway to stop this holy mission. It is important to understand that human opinion is not important. All that matters, is my most holy word. My word is the truth. I am the truth. Anyone who tells you these messages are not in accordance with my teachings as a liar. They do not know me. They may think they do, but they can only know me, if they remain humble of heart. Those whose opinion contradicts my word, are guilty of the sin of pride. Pride blinds even my sacred servants to the truth of my holy word. My promises to mankind, to come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, must come to pass. This, my second coming, cannot be prevented nor can it be stopped. My warnings to humanity, given to them because I love every soul are important. I must prepare all of God's children, adequately, for this most glorious event. Many will attempt to block you. Many will try to undermine my holy word and many will try to harm you in order to prevent my holy word from being heard. All of these attempts will be useless. Only I, Jesus Christ, have the power to provide eternal salvation to the whole of humanity. Only I have the power to prepare the souls of all mankind for their inheritance in paradise. No one, not even Satan, the king of darkness or his minions, can stop this from happening. Always remember this. I will protect all of those who abide by my holy word. You may be frightened by global events, as the forces of darkness envelop your countries. Events will distress you, but you must never fear, for I will bring you with me into my new kingdom on earth. All I ask is that you trust in me. Let me guide you. Allow me to show you the way to purify your souls, through the crusade of prayers I give you. Then leave all to me. Remember, my love for all of you is so strong, that no man can ever dilute this pure love and compassion I hold for each of God's children in my sacred heart. Your beloved Jesus. Redeemer of mankind.